actually sent out a personal development plan a few months ago for the more new members to complete. And the reasons for doing that is so that you can actually map the days that you actually want to do your speeches. Send that back to me and I can put that into EasySpeak, which is our online communicator. And also, the other document that I sent out was to allow you to plan your speeches over a period of whatever time it would take you to actually complete the competent communicator and the leadership role. I got some back, but there's still more time for me to receive the others. What we've done as part of the management team to ensure that we accommodate for most of the members, because a lot of you are aware that we were running out of speaking dates, we've actually included additional dates. So you'll find tonight, um, a, there's two actual boards going around with dates for you to sign up to do your additional speeches, as well as your other roles as well. So we're trying to accommodate you as best as we can. So I hope we'll just take up, up on that opportunity so that you can actually progress a lot quicker. And because HOD is a club that actually plans ahead, we've also decided that we want to maintain our president distinguished position. And we can't do that alone. So what the head office tends to do is actually give us something to work towards. So it's up to us to actually achieve this. But let me just read it out so that you'll be more familiar as to the kind of areas that we need to work towards. We need four individuals to complete their competent communicator this current year. So by June, <coughs> we have to have four members to complete that. We also need two members to either complete the advanced bronze, silver, or gold. And then we need sorry, I'm just calculating. Yes, another two members who are on the advanced level to complete either the bronze, silver, or gold. Then followed by that, we need four new members, and we all know we've met that target already um, this year. So eight new members. Eight new members. A minimum of two training days a year is allocated to all the officers, such as those that sit on um, the management committee, it's mm. open to them. So we have two training days a year, and we need eight members to actually attend for the whole year. We've already done one training earlier this year, and we've managed to meet that objective already. And also, with regards to the membership, we have to we actually have to pay our membership for the year, which we've already done that, so we've already ticked that box already. So we're almost on our way to be having well actually meeting that goal as president of distinguished club. Where we need a bit more support, and this is where you come in as individuals. So you've got your own goals that you're working towards to complete your manuals, that would actually tie in to the HOD goal for the President Distinguished Club. So, when you're sitting down doing your goals, your goals actually help the big picture. It actually helps us here at HOD. What I want you to really consider, even if whether you're a new member or a relatively established HOD member, is whether or not you want to continue next year as part of the management team. So that can also be part of your goal. And you may think, well, that's a natural thing. No, it's not, because people are busy. Yes, if you want further development, whether it means learning how to sit around a management table and actually interact with other members of the team, that is an ideal way to understand how a board is run. Let me tell you a story as to how, what I've done this year since I've been back, or been part of HOD, and it's just, it, just over a year. I came back from the States, as most of you know, with no, or next to no confidence whatsoever. Yes? But I jumped back into Toastmasters here in the UK. Also, remembering it's a different culture for that of the US. So when I walked into here in HOD, I went, oh my goodness, what a formal club. Americans are a bit more relaxed. 
that and it can take time. And of course, the accent actually goes a long way. So, ancient day, very professional, on time. So, I thought to myself, well, yes, I've got a lot to learn. So, I was encouraged to also sit in the, ma on the management committee. And I'm a person who had to find somewhere to live, get a car, get a job, all at the same time. But what Toastmasters actually did within that time was when I found a job in June, I was able to be promoted. I was also, I also received a bonus. Yes, I also received uh, something else I got as well, a bonus and a pay rise. And what I did all stemmed from me stepping forward one day and saying, I will actually speak to the team about what we do within our pub in the office. And it wasn't the fact that I just spoke. I spoke to <coughs> Toastmaster. And they could see that over time, my confidence was building. Oh, so they felt that they want to keep me, and that's what they've done. And they're, they're the gifts and the pleasures that I've received in the year. So you, too, as part of your goals and the strategies <coughs> that you put together, you will find that Toastmasters is going to be a part of your life, whether it be for a career, whether it be for a business, or whether it is just to continue to assist others in your mentoring role. Yeah, so Toastmasters actually covers a lot of areas. So as we know, we're on the way to maintaining our club status. So, what is it that I really want from you? I want you to continue to be committed to the club. Continue to work within and alongside your mentor. Continue to work with your manuals as well. Yeah, whether it be the competent communicator or the leadership manual. Consider sitting on the management committee. It may not even be this year, after June, it could be an following year. These are things to consider and add to your goals. Okay. And then once you've actually completed the manuals, you yourself can be a mentor as well. So you can give back to others, to new members that come in. So your development, your goal setting is ongoing. It never stops. Yes? So what I'd like to leave here with you is if you take advantage of Toastmasters in a positive way to benefit yourself, to benefit others, and don't forget to benefit others outside the club. Yeah? So you've got your manuals, you've got a mentor, and there's no excuse. And we're definitely on our way to become a president distinguished.